I just don't think you understand. None of y'all understand just how dangerous she really is. more love bugs you have now tuned into my empire recap guys be sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet done so also be sure to share this video wherever you like to share videos and give it that good old thumbs up if you like these types of videos check out my other channel which is some more love tv because that's where i have my love and hip-hop as you guys should already know. But if you don't know, now you know. And congratulations to us. We have hit over 2,000 subscribers on this channel. We are doing it, honey. All right, so let's go ahead and find these shout outs first, right? I should already have this like all set up, but for some reason, I guess I like to look through my phone at the last minute. So here we go. Let's find the last empire. And all right, so shout out to Jasmine Robinson. She said, Love the Empire reviews. I saw on the promo for next week that Jamal is with another dude, not Michael. Shout me out. Oh, she said shout her out. And I did. I I, I got you, girl. I got you. You didn't have to tell me that. I got you. Okay, so yeah, and I saw that too. We're gonna talk about that shortly. Let's go ahead and get one more person. Shay Turner, or Chai, Che, Che, C H A Y. Sorry if I said it wrong. But anyways, another great review, some more. I'm proud of the man that Hakeem is becoming. Aww. It is really nice to see him mature and grow up. I agree. I keep hoping that Laura will end up pregnant. Laugh out loud because that is going to be the cause of some competition and drama, honey. Yes, exactly. That's the way that I feel. But she seems like she changed it, honey. But we about to talk about that shortly. Andre, he's now at the center for the adults with bipolar disorder. I think it, that's what the center was for, right? It wasn't just for older people. I think it was for adults with bipolar disorder. And he's talking to his grandmother, and he just seems like he's in another world. I guess because it's like family that he never met before, he always wanted to know. And the, plus, they have that special connection. Both of them are bipolar. So, you know, it's just like a bond that you just can't break. And now he understands more about himself now that he's seen the chain. You know what I mean? He sees where it actually comes from. So he speaks to her, and then while he's talking to her, she kind of like touches his face and looks into his eyes, and she's like, are you my kin? Which kin, of course, means like a family member, something along those lines, somebody that's part of your family. So probably all that just touches her, and he's like, nah, we getting you out of here. We busting loose, honey. So that's exactly what he does. He ends up taking her out of that home. I don't know how he was able to sign, well, maybe they have in the system that he's part of the family and who her family members really are, but I'm surprised that they didn't leak it, but I guess they probably been paying this place so good that they had to keep it on the wraps and quiet and hush hush. Candace is back in town and we know Candace is um, Vivica A. Fox. And now Candace, she's ready to give Carol back her kids. Carol was staying with Cookie because she had that little drug problem. So now she's about to, she's just like, nah, you gotta take them back. And Cookie's like, I only got a two bedroom apartment. And she's like, well, you're gonna have to get some bunk beds because they coming. Jamal, he goes into the studio to see this rapper guy. I think his name was G or D. I kind of like didn't really hear what the name of the rapper was. But he seemed like he was so upset. And he had like aggression and anger issues. And he's just like, yo, you don't need to be busting in my, my studio session like this. Hijacking my studio session. And then he just like kicks everybody out like, yo, get out. Get out. Close the door behind you on some thug life status. But then all of a sudden, he's talking to, to um, he's talking to Jamal. He's all up in his face. Like, yo, you, you don't be coming up in here like that. You understand me, you know? On some gangster New York runks, Brooklyn swag. <laughs> all right. I'm going a little too far. I'm, going, I'm getting into character, y'all. And then, like, all of a sudden, this dude pushes up on him and start kissing him. And I was like, wait, wait, what? Where, what the heck is going on here? I did 
didn't expect that one from Mr. Thug Life, but you know sometimes it be the ones that are the most aggressive, the most like, mm, I don't like them gays. Mm -mm. You know, the, the ones that be acting like they're the most disgusted are the ones that are the most on the down low or just trying to stay inside the closet, but they really scratching at the freaking closet trying to come out. And that's exactly what was up with this guy. So they look like they started making some passionate, passionate love. I mean, it was, it was wild and crazy. I was like, whoa, too hot for TV. This is going to be the talk of the town in the morning well even right now on twitter i know they was having a twitter fest with that i mean i was putting my little tweets in here make sure y'all follow me so y'all can tweet me but yeah i was just like wow this is crazy they getting it in like it, it looked like it was a whole nother level like it looked like it, it was even better than how he get with michael like this looked like some aggression Ugh. Rawr. man <laughs> craziness y'all Hakeem and Tiana, they were practicing in the studio for a song, I mean for, well yeah, for a song that he's going to be doing and he just feels like this is going to be amazing, it's going to hit platinum and he didn't even realize he was there with her so long. He thought it was 10 o'clock and he look around and it's actually 1 a.m. So he's like, dang, I didn't realize it was that late. He's like, damn, Laura's going to kill me. And she just like starts flirting with him, gives him a little kiss on the cheek and walks away, popping that booty, honey, with the heels on. You know, that make the booty look a little better when you got them heels on. So yeah, I was just like, she don't get you in trouble, partner. You better stay away. You better stick to doing them songs with your girl or have your girl, why your girl can't be in a session? If I was her, I'd be on my Tamar Braxton-ish. I'm gonna be in the studio with you, boo. Yeah, try something. <laughs> I rocks with him everywhere. Lucius, Jamal, and Hakeem, they were all in the studio with Cookie. And they they started doing this song. I mean, they were actually talking about doing this song, but they were like arguing. It just wasn't like mixing properly. Then all of a sudden, Andre's like, yeah, like family, right? And then he tells this whole story about how the mother was locked away in the nursing home. Cookie looked like she saw a ghost. Well, not even just so ago, she looked like she was shocked and just bewildered and just like WTF, like what the hell is going on? And when she comes to Lucius, Lucius was actually the one that looked like he saw a ghost. He looked like traumatized. He looked like a little boy. He started crying. I was just like, man, this woman has definitely done some damage to his psychic, like his psyche or how the heck you say the darn word. <laughs> it looked like he has had some damage. He just has to like walk away because he's like, you know, you guys don't realize just how dangerous this woman really is. You don't even know what you have done by bringing her here. Cookie and him, they have a heart to heart because Cookie, she's just like hurt right now because it's like she's learning all about him right now. After all these years done passed, what, 17 years plus they was together before that, she ain't know his real name. She ain't know his mama had died. She ain't know his mama did all these things to him that she killed herself. Now she hearing a whole nother story where the mother really wasn't dead. The mother was locked away. It's like everything is just psh, psh, psh. Remember the Matrix? It's like everything is just slapping her all at once. And it's just like, if I was her, I would be like, what can I actually believe? It's like everything that you're telling me has been a lie from day one. Like, who, who are you, you know? She, she can't even say who are you because he's not even who he said he was. Is that your real birthday? Let me see your birth certificate, bruh. Or is that doctored up too? You know? <sighs> Poor Cookie. So then he says that she that everything that he said happened is what actually happened. She tried to drown him. She tried to kill herself. But the only thing about that story is that she really didn't kill herself. There were no bullets in the gun. And then she tried to blame him for everything. And that's the reason why he said once she was locked away, she did become dead to him. That was the end of it. He said that something about Reagan and when they had kicked all of the um, bipolar people and people that had some type of health disorder on the street, all of a sudden... 
he had nowhere to put her or whatever but then finally he was able to get her into a home and all those things you know bipolar disorder is serious and it can be life-threatening and things like that and I do have a sister not the one that some of you guys have seen before but there's another one that I really I don't see that often and I didn't really grow up with her but she's she has bipolar disorder so just seeing these things it's just like it's just like an eye-opener you know I I have had a few encounters where she's went off and it's just it's so scary and for me because I haven't lived with her I haven't had to deal with it it's something that it's all it was all new to me when I did experience it the few times that I did maybe like a handful of times and it, it like I said it's just scary so I, I can totally understand why he feels like she's dangerous and all these things he didn't know how to deal with that as a kid he just still doesn't even know how to handle that or deal with it now as a grown-up Laura, she's starting to change. Like I said, she had on like a fur coat. I'm like, since when this girl get all glammed up like this? Since all these episodes that we seen her, now that she rocking a big ring, now she want to get all glamified and go against the rules of PETA and all those other things that be rocking her fur. And it looked like it was real. I'm not really sure. I didn't look up close or nothing like that. I was doing something, but it looked like it could have been real most likely real because you know how they do and you know uh what's her name she be wearing her real ones cookie so now she's upset with him because she found out that he's doing this song with tiana and he's just like oh you know how did you even find out about this anyway she's like she's upset because this is a song that he said will probably go platinum it's gonna do well and you're doing it with this woman like for real and he's like you know you can't expect me to do each and every song with you uh i mean look at jay-z and beyonce they do a lot of songs together <laughs> But she doesn't do every song with him and vice versa. So, I mean, I understand where he's coming from. You do have to mix it up at times unless you're going to have like a duet album. But to do a song with somebody who could potentially be a threat to your relationship, especially because she's hating right now, is not okay. And we all seen what happened. Like, he's... He BSs her and tries to put on the front like, nah, nothing's happening. She's like, I know she's after you. And he's like, well, you don't have to worry about her. Yeah, bro. Okay. Like I said, I would be up in every studio as long as I'm not out on tour. And that's the problem. See, she's a working person too. But as long as I don't have nothing going down, I'm going to be right up in that studio with you smiling, saying, hey, Tiana. You better sing, girl. You know what they say? Keep your enemies closer. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where was that voice from? I don't know. Uh, following that, uh, Cookie tries to get his... No, not Cookie. It was um actually Lucius. He tries to get his mother to go back to the home. He has his lawyer taking her in a car to take her back. But... It just so happens that Andre just so popped up and he wasn't having that. So he made sure that she was back where she was supposed to be. The little reporter lady, she, we, we all know that she was the one who snitched everything out. And the same lawyer guy, he ended up giving her a lift and then he took her to a back alley and she was like oh you know she was she was just being her same self sarcastic and she was like you know like oh you're not you're not gonna put your hands on me or anything like that and she was he was like nah i'm not gonna lay a finger on you i wouldn't do that he lets her out two guys jump her in the alley and that's probably the rest the the end of the story for her her lines are cut cutty cutty <laughs> Um, this rapper dude, he's like totally messing with Jamal's head. It's like, he's trying to, when he sees him out with around other people, where p people could potentially see them, maybe there could be cameras, you know, you never know where these cameras are, like how it went down in the elevator and Jay-Z and Beyonce and Solange ain't know that there was a camera, they didn't realize at the moment, you know, some similar situations could go down. So he tries to make sure he's thug life, you know, all rude and just regular and all that when he sees Jamal. And then when he sees him behind closed doors, he's trying to like, oh, hey, baby, you know, try to push up on him and all that. Jamal's like, nah, we ain't doing this. You got to live in your truth. 
I can't. And he's like, nah, but remember when you did that thing with Summer? I was proud of you, man. He's like, nah, this is not even like that. He's like, I really like you, but I can't live this. And, you know, I'm proud of him for standing up for himself and not allowing himself to be put into back into the closet after it took him so long to get out of there. So now it's like he's just, he's not trying to allow anybody to make him feel inferior. And that's what's up. Carol and Candace, they were talking, had a little meeting. Carol's trying to tell her to... I'm getting the names mixed up. Candace is trying to tell Carol to give her more time. Or did I mix up the names? No. Carol is trying to tell Candace to give her more time, okay? And she's just like, no. And then Carol, she wants to reveal that she um she she wants to reveal her secrets to to cookie and candace is just like no you don't do that that's going to turn her into a hurricane storm and we don't want that we don't want to have her doing all those crazy things to us no do not tell her and she's like but i got i guess from what i gathered from that little part was that candace no carol she was helping Lucius to kill people or something like that. That's what it kind of sounded like. But they didn't realize that there was a man sitting down, kind of eavesdropping and listening to their conversation. And he looked like hearing those things kind of sparked his interest real quick. Later on, it was revealed that he is FBI. But I guess he's somebody that's pretty close to, to, Car to these damn names he sees and sees why they couldn't mix up the people in them name i guess cookie candace and carol <sighs> so carol he knows carol from somewhere because they was like she was sitting down getting some drinks and then he came up and she seemed like she knew who he was by the way she was talking to him following that anika and Rhonda. They were setting up for the baby, the new baby's arrival. They have all these little stuffed animals, getting their crib together, everything. Like, the baby's room is looking so cute. And then all of a sudden, this big box that had something for the baby inside of it, it comes crashing down and hits Rhonda right on her shoulder. So she's just like... But then she kind of got a flashback real quick. And I was like, yes, I had to go on Snapchat, like, yes, I'm so happy Rhonda's starting to remember a little something. Like, I was dead on Snapchat if you guys saw me. Oh, my battery's about to die. I might have to change it. But then she started to, she's like, wait, I, I just had this crazy vision of somehow, some way, like, it seemed like somebody pushed me. Like, me falling down the stairs, but somebody pushed me down. And Anika's like, oh, my God, somebody pushed you? I thought you said that you fell, that you tripped trying to be the concerned friend so she can push all suspicion off of her. But we ain't, we, we gonna find out, yo, it's about to get revealed. And they gonna push her box side down the stairs, watch. Cause she plays too much, yo, ugh. And Nico makes me so mad with that. Like she dead killed somebody's kid. I, I don't like that. Just because she was jealous. Lucius, he seems to be warming up to his mama. They even did like a song together, kind of like reminiscing from his past. The only thing that was weird to me, when they showed her before, they showed Kelly Rowland, and you know, they have different complexions. Um, I don't know, it was just kind of weird that they mixed up the ladies so much. I feel like they should have made a nice, darker lady be the mother since it was a darker person that was the mother before. You know, it would have made sense to me, but whatever. They pick who they wanna pick, at least this lady can sing. So yeah, she was singing and he was singing and it just kind of opened up his like third eye or something where the song that they played, he brought it to his family, to Hakeem and Lucius and all of them. And they came up with this amazing song about family. The rap was off the chain, the, the song part, R&B part that Jamal did was amazing. Lucius there on the piano. It was just, it was just like I, I had to go and download it. That's how it was. Like I, I went to Tidal and I looked it up, and I think I have it on my phone now. That's how serious like all these songs are. I gotta use up that trial, honey, because I don't think I'm keeping it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, they performed their song. 
on stage later on and Andre he was the host the guys sang and it was just amazing people were clapping it up and the lyrics it was just so hot like you know the, the blood is thicker than water water is thicker than blood and you know my stomach something you know I'm not good at rapping but Hakeem he did it man Anika and Rhonda they were chatting again they were together because you know they're real close this is kind of I think Ron is kind of living through Anika in a sense and just that's the reason why she wants to be so close to her. So anyways, they're sitting down and uh, Ron is drinking wine, wine for the both of them. And then she starts getting these visions, but she didn't tell Anika just what's going on at that moment. She just kind of like lived it out and just, you know, she's sipping, but she's kind of taking notes. She looked down at Anika's shoes and she remembers the shoes that walked away from the person that pushed her and walked out. So now it's all coming back to her slowly. And it's making her feel uneasy because she's starting to realize something ain't right here. So now her husband wasn't that crazy after all. Remember what he was saying when he was getting them visions. Mm. Lucia's mama, she's starting to bug out again, y'all. She baked a whole ton load of cakes, maybe like five cakes or so. She has Lucia sit down, starts cutting him the cake and gives him the cake. She said that she fired the person who cooks for him because he's like you know that's her job she's like not anymore she's gone she tells him that he caused all her problems and she should have took the opportunity when she had it to kill him and now once again he's looking like that scared little kid that tried to just get rid of her get rid of her out of his life for good all right guys so and that pretty much wraps up that episode. Can't talk too much more because we're about to get shut down by the battery. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Later. And comment, guys, so you can be featured in the next one. Laters.